Hi everyone, I hope that you're having a great weekend. We are getting a lot of snow up here in the Pacific Northwest. I think we're almost at 12 inches. So I'm going to take you on a walk throughout the garden. I'm also going to head towards the front and show you what's going on up there. But here's the backyard covered with snow. And over here is a, our little miniature orchard. Let's head down over there. So let's walk around here first. There are some of the blueberry bushes that we have. I think these two here are Spartan. Then we have Blue Jay, Duke, oh no, Chippewa or Chippewa, and then Duke. Duke is really sweet. If you're not growing blueberries yet, I encourage you to because they are nutritious, delicious, and a perennial crop, which means they'll come back year after year. And once established, they will produce for many years for you. Just make sure to plant them in full sun, six hours or more. They also require acidic soil. If the soil is alkaline, they will not be able to take up nutrients, which will slow growth. Now, even though blueberries are self-fertile, it is a good idea to plant more than one variety so they can cross-pollinate, which results in better quality and production. A couple of apple trees. I think those two are Fuji. And then we have that five-way pear tree over there. The other apple trees are on the other side of the garden. This is where those giant rhubarb plants are buried in the snow. The crowns were starting to emerge. And then we have this cold hardy yuzu citrus echandrin. This is supposed to be hardy all the way down to zero degrees. Last time I researched, it was 15 degrees, but I've recently read that it is known to be hardy all the way down to zero degrees. Check out those thorns though. Some of them are, are over an inch long. So I'm going to take you up front in a little bit, but first we'll go towards the backyard. Everything's covered in snow. So I usually shake off the snow from the rosemary and other perennial herbs because it, they get way down and I've had some of them collapse and stems break in the past. So I just come out here a couple of times a day. It looks beautiful though, huh? This is the Tuscan Blue Rosemary and it is hardy to 15 degrees. So there's the rest of the garden. I need to sweep off the snow again with my broom. I did that yesterday, but we got more snow this morning and last night. Um, fig trees in pots. We got Desert King, Honey Fig. I think we have another fig tree on the other side over there and one in the ground towards that way. This bed is pretty much covered. I've got elephant and garlic in this bed. These are our new beds. These are very sturdy galvanized steel beds coated with alu-zinc. It is by Vigo Garden. And I will leave a link below if you guys would like to read more about it. They are also modular beds, so they can be configured to many sizes and shapes. So excited to show you guys this. We've got more coming and we'll be putting them together, replacing some of the old wooden beds that are starting to really wear down and rot. So stay tuned this spring, it's going to be exciting. And I've got one here too. This is the round one. I believe this is 42 inches in diameter. So I'm excited to plant some herbs in this raised bed. So I'm going to be digging up some of the perennial herbs that are buried in the snow right now. So I can't really show you all those, but I've got some lemon thyme in there, English thyme, lavender, and I believe Burgard and sage over there. This one is jasmine. It's a cold hardy one. I believe this one's hardy to around 15 degrees. My mom gave this to me last year for my birthday. I love the flowers. They smell so good. There we go. There's the Himalayan honeysuckle or chocolate berry. I featured this before in many of my videos. This one has a similar taste to coffee and caramel. Some say toffee, <laughs> but they're pretty good. These are a couple of our garlic beds. We've got some garlic in pots. All those winter sown veggies in those plastic bottles I sowed about, I think three and a half, four weeks ago are covered with a blanket of snow. I can see one right there. Another Tuscan blue rosemary that I need to 
shake up a little bit. That one's pineapple sage. Can't really show much over here because everything's pretty much covered. This one is perpetua blueberry. Bears fruit twice a year, one in the summer and one in early fall. Bay leaf tree. So I'm going to shake off those snow too. And this is the one that I am air pruning. My mom came over here and helped me put on those covers to air prune. So we'll get two additional plants from this one plant. Tree collards over there. And the kale plants on the other side. So that's pretty much it back here. We'll head towards the front. These are dinosaur kale and almost all the garlic sprouted, but they're all covered in the snow. There's a couple, you can see. There's the greenhouse. <laughs> And got in bed, compost pile. The tumblers are behind the greenhouse over there. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> All right, we're going to head towards the front. We were just here just a little bit ago. Oh, there's that baby cakes blackberry. It's a compact, thornless blackberry plant. This is Crow Cosmia. This is our rock garden. And looks like the daylilies are starting to emerge. Irises over there, head towards this way. This is a plum tree that we had to cut back. It was pretty much dying and diseased, but we have some new shoots. There are multiple trees in there, so we can separate those. I don't know the variety, but they're very sweet. And I especially want to show you guys this tree over here. You can see the yellow flowers. This is American witch hazel. It is a tall growing shrub or a tree. They can get to about 9 to 15 feet tall. And this is the same tree where they take the compounds, they extract it from the roots and the bark, and they make that witch hazel astringent. The flowers are gorgeous. So they're yellow. Now, this blooms in the fall and winter. Since I'm in the Pacific Northwest, they bloom here right between January and February. In other climates, they can bloom around, I believe, October, October and November. I believe this is native to the northeastern part of the US and Canada. Such a stunning tree, especially in the middle of winter when everything is dormant, especially with the snow in the background. It is just beautiful. Last stop, this is the front yard. Nothing much to show you, just a blanket of snow, but excited to see all the flower bulbs emerge right here in the front. So looking forward to that and can't wait to show you. Thanks for joining me today, everyone. I hope that you guys have a great weekend. Stay warm and cozy and safe out there and happy gardening.